Jesus Christ is our Messiah King. And what kind of deliverance do we expect from our King? In 63 BC, the Roman Empire captured Jerusalem and the land of Israel came under Roman rule. Hall of Judea was ruled by a Roman procurator who managed its political, military and fiscal affairs. The Jewish people were manipulated and oppressed by the Roman rule. Because of this situation, most of the Jews expected a Messiah to lead a revolt against Rome and to establish an earthly kingdom at once. Therefore, Jerusalem expected a warrior. Jerusalem expected a conqueror and a king to save them from Rome. They expected a political messiah to free them from the authority of Rome. But God had other plans for Israel. God comes in his terms, not in ours. God sent his messiah not on a chariot, not on a warrior horse, but on a young donkey. He arrives not as a warrior king, but as a humble servant in peace. Today is the Palm Sunday. Today we celebrate Jesus' triumphal arrival into Jerusalem. With Palm Sunday, we enter into the Holy Week, which became a turning point in the whole of human history. Just before the Passover, Jesus began his last journey into Jerusalem. Like Jesus, hundreds and thousands of Jews had arrived at Jerusalem to celebrate the Feast of Passover. The Jews were earnestly awaiting liberation. Especially during Passover, they were filled with hope and expecting a Messiah King who would deliver them from the Roman oppression. Now they have a new champion who has arrived at Jerusalem. Jesus came fulfilling the words of Prophet Zechariah. Behold, your king is coming to you. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding on a donkey. Now, Jesus is riding into Jerusalem on a humble donkey. At this moment, Jews threw their clothes and started waving palm branches in front of him. This was a sign of homage and a customary practice for the people of great respect. Palm branches were widely recognized as a symbol of peace and victory. Jesus did not come as a mighty warrior messiah, but rather he comes as a humble and a meek messiah. As Jesus entered the holy city, the crowd shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, which means save us, O Lord. Yes, Jesus came to deliver them, to save them, but not in the way that they expected not by a violent overthrow of Roman rule. From the day Jesus entered into Jerusalem, as the week progressed, the Jews saw that Jesus is not going to conquer Rome. He is not the political messiah they hoped for. They understood that Jesus is not going to bring them a political deliverance. So, five days later, the same crowd who shouted Hosanna, Hosanna, would now shout, Crucify him, crucify him. Jews expected a political solution, but Jesus came to bring eternal deliverance through his passion, death and resurrection. In the second reading today, taken from the letter to the Philippians, it is mentioned that though Jesus was in the form of God, he did not count equality with God as a something to be grasped, but he emptied himself taking the nature of a servant. Though Jesus was God himself, he never came intimidating in a fearful and a violent way, but he is the God who came in search of us in the most humble manner. Today we have the same question of Jews in Jerusalem. Today what kind of saviour and a God are we expecting in our religion? Often people expect a mighty powerful God who would come and solve all their problems. We expect a God who would punish our enemies. We want a God who would free us from all our difficulties. But God has other plans for us. Today, He comes to deliver us from the bondages of sin. He comes to us humble and meek in the form of the Most Holy Eucharist. At every Holy Mass, 
Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, comes to us not in a fearful and a violent manner, but in a silent and a humble manner to redeem us, to save us from the evil. Jesus Christ is our triumphant King. He is not promising us a great earthly kingdom, but He is promising us heavenly kingdom beyond this life. Today, let us shout Hosanna, Hosanna and welcome our heavenly King.